Hey guys, today I thought it'd be cool to address 10 really interesting facts or tidbits of information about leopard geckos. So there's actually 11 that I have written down, but like if I put 11 cool facts, like it's not as, it's not as like cool as putting 10 cool facts. So it's actually 11, so you get a bonus one, but the title says 10, so it is what it is. I also want to note that I have them all written down. So if you see me look down, I know it's unprofessional, but like I am unprofessional. So number one, they can drop their tails to distract a predator and escape in the meantime while their tail is wiggling. It's disgusting, but it's awesome. And it happens in captivity when like leopard geckos are startled or if they're mishandled. A lot of times it happens with juvenile geckos and not usually full grown ones, but the tail can be dropped for a number of reasons. It's just, that's the primary function of it dropping. My bearded dragon is sitting in my lap right now because I just filmed the care tutorial. So he's like wigging out using his Jacobson organ on my legs. It's delightful. So a uh, leopard gecko's tail will grow back, but it won't look the same. It kind of looks like fleshy or bulbous and doesn't have as much texture to it. A lot of people find regrown tails ugly, but like it just, it is what it is. I mean, I don't think they're ugly at all. It's just part of your leopard gecko. Number two, they eat their own shed. There's a couple different theories as to why they do this. And one of them is that they eat their shed in the wild so that predators can't like track them down to their cave because they live in like a central area. So if they had their shed lying around, it would tell a predator that that's where they lived and then they could get eaten, which is obviously not good for them. And the second one is that they eat their shed to absorb its nutrients. Number three, and this one I actually did not know, leopard geckos have 100 teeth. And not only that, they continually grow throughout their life. So basically, when a new tooth is growing in, it pushes out the old one and then they just have a new tooth and it, this cycle continues throughout their whole lives. Number four, they originate from the dry, rocky grasslands of Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, and Iran. So no, they don't come from loose sand like on the beach. Number five, in the wild and also in captivity, leopard geckos are crepuscular, and crepuscular means that they are most active at dawn and dusk. They sleep during the day to conserve their energy, and then they use it at dawn and dusk to do hunting and other sorts of activities. Number six, in the wild and in captivity, leopard geckos brumate, and brumation is basically lizard hibernation. It's what they do in the colder, darker months to conserve their energy, where food is more scarce, so they, you know, eat a lot during the warmer months store it in their bodies and then throughout the winter months they conserve their energy by not exerting energy by looking for food or running around and so in that time they're able to survive the harsher conditions of weather and also not having food source so that they can survive and thrive and they do this annually and in captivity they do this although they don't really have to but they don't know that it's instinctual for them to brumate number seven leopard geckos are solitary animals in the wild and in captivity in the wild, they often don't live with other leopard geckos or with other animals in general. Of course, there's exceptions to this rule. I'm sure that somewhere someone has found leopard geckos living together, but generally speaking, they do not live together in the wild and shouldn't live together in captivity, generally speaking. Number eight. I can't close my fingers all the way on this hand. Oh, it's terrible. Leopard geckos store excess fat in their tails. We were talking about this earlier when we discussed brumation. It allows them to survive winter. It allows them, if food is scarce, to not have to hunt or starve. And so it's really essential that they have that fat storage in their tails. Number nine, also, pinky is not touching my hand. I can't, I can't make it. Oh, oh, there we go. Leopard geckos are ectothermic, which means that they absorb warmth and energy throughout the day to utilize it at night when they're hunting, like I said earlier. This is why you might notice your leopard geckos in captivity pretty much hiding in their warm hide all day and then coming out more towards the evening. In the wild, that's how they would operate. They would get warm during the day, build up their energy, and then use that energy at night while hunting. Number 10, leopard geckos have excellent senses. In particular, sight, hearing, and smell. They use these senses to hunt and survive in the wild and in captivity. Well, I'm not really sure what my geckos use theirs for. <laughs> and number 11, they are insectivores, which means that they only eat insects. They don't eat fruits, they don't eat vegetables. I've had people actually contact me trying to feed kale and bread to their leopard gecko. Um, don't do that. <laughs> they only eat insects both in the wild and in captivity. Even though this is not a leopard gecko, um, I figured I'd show him off at the very end of the video. <laughs> what are you doing? Let go of my hair tie. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope you found this informational and insightful. 
If you liked it, please give it a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and if you subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you are notified when I post new videos. And aside from that, I think that's all for this one. Say bye, Franklin. Cool, see you guys later, bye.